Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hemicraft Season 6 with me, False Symmetry. Today we are in a boat in the middle of nowhere, quite literally. I have no idea where I am anymore. I am so very lost. All I know is my base is back that way a very, very long way. I don't even want to look at the coordinates right now. That is just terrifying. But I am on an adventure to try and find some warm ocean, uh, which is technically very difficult right now. Uh, all of this ocean pretty much is lukewarm ocean, which is what this is right here, this sort of shade of ocean. The dark ocean that was back there that I was in um, was a uh, cold ocean, and I think I finally found, and I didn't even realize that we would, would find it right now, I, did, I wasn't ready. But look, we found it, we found the warm ocean. And the reason I am here is because I believe this is the only place you get tropical fish and I haven't had a proper look at them yet, oh my goodness. <sighs> Dudes, come here please. I need you. You need to be my friend, thank you. Can I have, can I have another one? Now I'm thinking when you collect these, uh, it does, it says there are, <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> these dudes, I don't know what they're up to, but it is actually kind of funny. Is that a puffer fish down there? I might have to quickly check, but um, yeah, so basically I pick up a bucket of tropical fish. I guess we can try it out. If I put it, oh, I can't put it back. Maybe I have to lean against something. Uh, does it, does it end up being the same fish? I don't really know. Let's try grabbing one of uh, these guys. It's pink one. I, th I mean, it says it's the same thing. Oh, it's also, oh, okay. Right, I need to quickly pause for a moment and, and get on some land. Oh, here we go. Someone's actually got like a little base over here. I'm gonna take a little screenshot. Oh, this this is I think um a, a turtle farm that I found a while ago. Yeah, looks like it. Uh, let me take a quick screenshot of those coordinates just so that I know where this ocean is. I think this must be the closest one. I'm gonna make a whole bunch more buckets, which I know I shouldn't really make that many buckets. I haven't got loads and loads of iron just yet. But uh, and it's easier when you get single buckets in your inventory ready to right click because if you pick up water then it doesn't go into a different you know slot. But uh, I'm trying to collect uh, a whole bunch of different fish. Have we got these ones? I think those are the ones we have. Just just in case it does, and I think those are the ones we have. Let's get one of these sort of like bluey ones. They're quite cute. Um, <laughs> whether it works or not, I'll, I'll try and collect different ones. And the reason being, oh hello, my why did that come up? That was weird. I wasn't even. I was holding control, ready to swim, and the escape menu came up. That was strange. Um, but basically, yeah, I'm I'm in, I'm in the search of fish so that I can start filling and building my pet shop, which we built, I think, in the last episode, if this episode goes up in order of recording. Um, and I'm super excited about it, especially now I've found the fish, because we have... Oh my goodness, what are you guys? You guys are adorable. You're like little baby salmon. Sort of very small... <laughs> why? Why do they do this? They literally go up and down like crazy. I don't understand them, but it's hilarious. Right, I think with the last couple buckets that I've got, um, oh my goodness, I nearly died then, that was bad. Also, do I have phantoms? I really hope not. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to see if I can find any puffer fish, because I believe that they probably spawn here too. And uh, I'll continue carry, uh, catching as many fish as possible, so that when we finally build our build today, we should be able to... Hello friend, you're not... I can't catch you, sadly. You don't fit in the bucket. Uh, but basically, we'll be able to fill up our shop straight away so that we can open it as soon as possible. And that will be super duper awesome if we can do that. Come here, fish. Stop getting away from me. Guys, a dolphin just, like, helped me out there. Like, I've still got the boost. And he helped me find... The... Look at this guy. Right, we need to be careful. I've been poisoned by one of these before and I don't know how they work underwater. Oh my goodness, he's getting, he's getting big and scary. Okay, we got him. Perfect! Oh yes, because buffer fish are going to be the most expensive and therefore we want to catch a few of those. I think I've got one bucket left. I can always get rid of a tropical fish bucket though. We've got plenty. But let's see quickly, hang out just for a little bit longer, see if the dolphin can help us out and uh, find at least one or two more puffer fish. It didn't take that long actually, which was really nice, but I believe they are pretty rare and also quite hard to see because they're usually pretty small. But yeah, sweet! Okay, we can definitely charge a lot for that guy and the dolphin's helping us out again. Nice one, dolphin. Thanks, man. Oh, I hit something. Right, let's keep going. Oh, did I lose him? Yeah, I lost him. <laughs> Shouldn't have gone around that way. So it's actually the wrong ocean as well, so I need to be careful about where we stay. Okay, I didn't record quick enough, but I heard the most awful noise. Like, it sounded a bit like a wail, like a really, really deep, like, hum. But it was like more like a groan. And it wasn't from a drowned. That! 
literally has given me chills down my spine. Is that a new sound? I didn't catch it, but holy mackerel, that is that proper like free, like I have chills right now. That was crazy. Okay, none of you guys are gonna believe me, but that was ridiculous. I hope that that was in the game and not just from elsewhere, because that would be even scarier. But oh my goodness, that was weird. So I'm back at the shopping district underneath the fishbowl, and let's just say the space I want to dig out for this place is bigger than I expected. Like stupidly bigger than expected and without efficiency 5 and without a haste 2 beacon this is gonna take a little while which is a little bit irritating i think maybe what we can try and do is try and just do the front half of this maybe save save like the second back half and maybe the roof or something uh for like a live stream i think my, my plan was to get this 100% finished, like finish this whole room. But with the size of it and the tools I currently have at my disposal, I just don't think I'm gonna be able to like finish it all and make a good job at the same time. So I'd rather like concentrate on the detail and get like the block palette sort of, you know, all sorted and in here so that you guys can like see what it will look like and visualize with me. Um, and then, you know, uh, in future episodes, you'll be able to actually see the whole thing uh, now, as I've said previously, I am pre-recording videos, so this one, you know, this is probably done by the time, you know, the video is out already, like, completely finished, 100%, because uh, I will have completed it in a live stream, which, if you guys don't already follow me on Twitch, uh, definitely head on over, the link is in the description, twitch.tv forward slash full symmetry. I go live there a whole bunch uh, when I'm actually home, because I do have a few drips coming up. Um, and yeah, I really, really enjoy doing that, and I, th this, is, this is the kind of thing I'd be working on on Twitch if it was like the, the, the live stream time, but currently it is uh, half twelve in, in, in like midday for me, so it's actually nearly my lunchtime, I'm actually kind of hungry, so I'm going to grab some food in a bit, uh, and maybe I can dig while I'm waiting for the food to, to cook, that might be a good idea, I can do that. Um, and um, yeah, I think we'll get this as dug out as possible, uh, it does need to be a little bit taller than this, like... I want this room to be like seven blocks tall, not including the ceiling, so I guess we need to dig out eight blocks plus the floor, I guess, so maybe nine blocks tall. <laughs> uh, seem to have had a bit of an incident. I... oh, I think I know exactly where this is as well. Dang it, I'm not even in there yet, and I'm already hitting this. Oh no, I, I knew, like I knew this was here, and I had a choice of either digging the downstairs area out this way or that way. Both of those have water. <laughs> um, this granted, this one wasn't as deep, but I just I like the fact that when you walk into this place, you're like walking in, going down, and then like exiting the same direction, the same when you come back up. Uh, this is, by the way, going to be a water elevator, which is why why I've just got, like, a staircase in here temporarily. But yeah, that's not great. So I think I either need to get some sand and some blocks to, like, sort out the bottom of that river up there, which might be the best idea. Maybe make it a little bit smaller, perhaps. Although, no, because that's going to still be too... Oh, I don't know. Maybe we'll make it a little bit deeper? I don't, I don't know. I guess so. Uh... This is going to be a night... Oh, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. But uh, we'll, we'll figure something out, I'm sure. So I popped back home for a little bit. Had to grab some more food. I hear a skeleton. Where are you, Skelebob? Are you in... So Wait. Oh, Really? Really? Oh, door, hello? Oh, guys. It's spawn proof in here somewhere. I mean, not spawn proof, that's the problem. Dude, you have so much, so much armor. Okay, right. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Well, I think that's better now. Yeah, that should be okay. Still haven't finished the interior of this, by the way. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm a little bit slow on that. But, um, yeah, so apparently I, I had a message from Red Dog being like, I left something in your tower. Here's my tower. There seems to be a chest here, and sleeping through the night doesn't seem to work anymore. Hmm, I'll try that out in a second. We have a book from Ren, which says on the mend, and, ooh, a mend, ooh, hello. Hello, a mending book. 
Dear Falsy, I may or may not have been harvesting your sugarcane when you're not online. To say thanks for all the paper, here's a gift, your friendly neighbour. Dude, I feel bad, okay? Ren has given me two gifts since I, uh, I I've been living here. <laughs> I mean, technically he, you know, I do deserve those gifts. I mean, this whole area was basically Ren's choice for me this season. He was like, do you want a base up there? And I was like, sure, <laughs> why not? Uh, and he is a good spot, to be honest. Not mi maybe not one that I would pick myself, but th that's good, that's good. I like to go out of my comfort zone with builds and, and stuff like that. So that's really, really cool. So thank you, Ren, for that. I will put that on either another one of these or a shovel, because I need to do digging. I think pickaxes would be best, because I'm going to end up digging for a lot of stone. Uh, so I'll probably put that on, yeah, on something at some point soon. We'll just chuck those in there for now. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll have to gift Ren something soon as well. I don't know what I have to gift back. I feel like I, I, I should return the favour a little bit. I like his, I like how he's stealing my sugar cane and he's got like even more over there. <laughs> he's just lazy. He wants to come over here instead of over there. I see how it is. Anyway, let me get back to work. I need to take a boat back and let's not get... Spike to buy the cactus. Well, I've dug out pretty much everything down here now. What I'm gonna do, I th think, I think we're prepared to do this. I mean, I might still change some of these for mossy at some point, but because I don't have any uh, vines and stuff like that yet, uh, which I probably will work on off camera probably, uh, I can't really turn these into mossy yet. The same with mossy cobble, I don't have any of that either, I don't think. So we will leave that. Uh, oh, I haven't finished digging. Oh, I thought I had. There were two more layers, but basically we're not going to be working in this big area just yet. We will do it in a second, but before that, I want to do this area in here because we've obviously lost the stairs. The stairs have gone, although actually, I need to check if this is the floor here on top of it or there before I start digging it all out. I think, uh, let me just check. Okay, so the floor seems to be on top of this block, so I'd already dug it out. So let's place a whole bunch of just smooth sandstone in here. I'll add some sand and some different textures at some point as well. Uh, and then I think, oh, I'm going to have to have some sort of like door or something stopping the water here, but we'll leave that. It doesn't matter if it leaks out for now, um, especially as there's no floor in there either. Uh, and then let's just like plop a few little bits of soul sand in here. Actually, let's put soul sand... Maybe just one piece for now. That is going to be the elevator up. And I'm sure you guys can guess what we're up to. Uh, in fact, actually, let's block up this right right now. Just, just, there we go. So we know where it is. Now we're just stuck in a, a, in a well. But if we start making this, you know, a bit of a, a bit of a, an area like this. There we go. Haha. -ha. Okay. So we should have bubbles here that'll, that'll lift us up. Nice. So... I think we need to do this the kelp way. Now, I haven't done it to this scale before, so I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work. Actually, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not sure at all if it's going to work. So even that wasn't the, like, best way of doing it. I think I need to put that at the highest point, let it flow down, and then, before I swim up it, start placing all of these. There we go. So they should all be source blocks now. Oh, I don't think I can do that. Right. So if I get rid of this from the bottom, they will stay there. Okay, cool. I need to pick up and uh, go up and pick them all up, though, I think. And then... Let's see if we can put it, like, here. Oh, no, that's not going to work, is it? What about, what about this? Can I... I can't plant things on the soul sand. So I think I'll swap that out real quick for... Yeah, I guess we'll swap it out for this. Because we can swim. We just won't get, like, pushed up. Okay, so this should be making source blocks now. When we get to the top, we'll, we'll know if we have got source block or not. Hello? Source block? Now it's a source block. Yeah, okay, This this we'll make this work. As long as it ends up with all source blocks, it doesn't matter. Uh, it shouldn't take too long anyway. Moment of truth. Let's plop a soul sand there. And it goes all the way to the top. Yeah! Okay, cool. So... Yeah, so now you can come down here, you can come down all the way down to the bottom, and then pop out, and there you, there you are, you're in the shop, nice, cool, so I'm going to put some signs 
here to block off the water so it's not going to just flow into the shop. But it'll definitely, like, it'll just be a, a water elevator, basically. Yeah, that's going to work really, really well. Uh, shame we don't have any wood down here. No, don't have any at all. So, yeah, I think I'll just dig out this. Uh, we'll add a ceiling and a floor. And then, <laughs> then we'll have a better canvas to work on. Because this canvas right here, well, it's not even totally a canvas yet. It, it's still being built and dug out. Well, I've come up with a floor design which I quite like. I wanted it to feel like a shop and I don't know about you guys but for, for the shop I have in mind, the shop style I have in mind and it being sort of an aquarium and very sort of bright like blue and, and coral and stuff, I wanted to go with sort of quite a neutral tone but I didn't want to go with like brown or grey as I always do. So I've gone with sandstone, which is something I don't use often enough at all. But they've added this new block called smooth sandstone, which I'm not 100% sure if it actually looks any different on top than normal sandstone. I feel like it does. But yeah, look at look at the really cool effect this makes. Now, originally I, I had planned to make these, like put them in there randomly. So, you know, whatever way they would face. Uh, but all I've done here is put them in like stripes. So they're all facing that way. Uh, these are all facing that way and then I just did that in like a stripe pattern and just it just gives a really really nice effect yeah it just makes it dynamic you know so I've done some planning we've left the ceiling because I think I might want to make it out of a uh, stripped birch like the floor but just like lines of it right so I think we'll make it go that way because it will draw your line you know your eyes across the line because, because, because you know, on the edges of these, if they line up next to each other, you've got sort of these dark lines in the middle, or I guess at the edge of the blocks. Um, so yeah, I think that'll work. Um, so I don't have anywhere near enough of that. I've got thirteen left, so we'll leave that for another time. Oh, that's a little bit more. Oh, so we can maybe do a couple more stripes. But uh, I've been planning out where and what fish are going where. So you can probably see these these stone brick things. Now these are going to be the tanks. And hopefully, if I brought some glass with me, which I did, we can start planning out the tanks. Now, I think, on well, that and some stone bricks, we're going to make the stone brick be the bottom and the top of the tank. And then, white glass it in the middle. Have I got a crafting table down? I don't. So, let's quickly make some stairs. A little bit of, add a little bit of texture to these. So, I think these, these, these two either side here, which are going to be little, little baby tanks. Um, I'll just, like, go with that for now. I should really use stairs, but we, we, we'll change them to stairs in a moment. So yeah, that'll work there. And we'll do the same this side. And either of these will be for the most common fish. So the most common fish, for those that don't know, are cod and salmon. So cod and salmon like pretty much spawn anywhere. You can grab as many as you want of them. They'll be really, really cheap. People might not necessarily want them. They're not that popular. So they're going to go in here and here. Then in the middle, I want some sort of future pet sort of in here. Like a not for sale. Like, like this is going to be like the showpiece, okay? And in my head, I'm like, you know, I was like, maybe I should put puffer fish in here, right? Because they're really, really hard to get. I can just make a really, really big showpiece out of a whole bunch of puffer fish. But I then was like, you know what? There's one fish in the game that isn't new, but is very, very impressive if you have one. And that would be a guardian. Not a, not a, uh, well, the, what are the big ones? Not, not an elder guardian, because I don't think he will fit in there. Well, he'll also give everybody mining fatigue. Um, but yeah, an actual guardian. I think I'm going to try and bring one up in a future video and put it in here. Uh, so that's going to be like the not for sale or part of things, right? We'll have guardians in there. Cool. And then the, 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 like the best thing ever will be this big tank. Now I don't think I have enough glass on me right now to finish it, but I want this big tank to just be like huge. Okay. Like one of those really, really, really big ones. So let's sort of start planning it out. We'll have like extra pillars as well for it because it's going to be sort of a very, very grand tank. Like, you know, you know, if like someone say someone's rich and they have a massive tank in their house, like, um, yeah, fish tank in their house. This is sort of what I want this to feel like. I want it to feel super duper special. Uh, this will also house the harder to get fish. So it'll be puffer fish and tropical fish in there. Both, you know, will be more expensive. I think I might get rid of the bottom and have like, yeah, let's try this out maybe. Have it go along there and have the glass continue. Yeah, because then you can see in there better. Yeah, definitely, that's a better idea. 
Um, and I've also changed it to sand in there as well, just so it's a little bit nicer. It would look weird if this floor was inside there. I need to change this one, I know. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's the plan. Yeah, I think that's the plan. And the idea is that we will offer buckets for people for free, um, which is, I guess, going to be quite expensive. Maybe, maybe we'll have a bring your own bucket sort of thing for the start because I don't have an awful lot of iron. But the idea is there'll be like a ladder or some sort of way into these tanks so that people can capture them themselves and then walk out with them, you know, and, and pay sort of on the way out. Maybe we'll put chests there and there. Yeah, so you, you'll pop in to the, the tank, like, like well, not like so, because there'll be water in here. But you pop into the tank or on top of it, you'll sort of stand up there and try and fish the fish out with a bucket. Uh, so it's sort of a DIY pet shop. I like that. I think that sounds really, really fun. And it'll be a fun place for people to come instead of going really, like, a long way away to get the tropical fish, especially. Well, it is shopping spree time. I am super excited. I've been wanting to buy the coral, but had no ideas of where to put it yet. But now we've got this shop, we can buy the coral and it can go straight in our shop and then we can make profit from everything looking so pretty. So, uh, let's head down into here. Uh, wrong bit, there we go. Right, okay, what do we want though? Blocks? No. Coral fans? Yes. The, although, there are only pink ones in there. Huh. Ooh, but tube coral. Brain coral? Bubble. Ooh, I think I want this one. One diamond per stack of three. And the stack of three have to be of one kind. And I don't know what... Oh, are these the ones that are outside? Oh, no, these are these ones. These are quite nice because you can see past them. Oh, wait, what, what's this one? Coral wool fan. Coral wool fan. Brain coral fan. Tube coral. Huh. I see. I quite like some of the tube coral. Like the yellow ones are very, very nice shape. The uh, some of these are a bit like bulgy. This one's quite nice because you can see through it again. I want. I want to be able to see the fish basically. I like this red one though. Maybe red and yellow. Red, yellow. Some blue would be good. Was there any blue anywhere? Or is it only the tube coral? Mm. Maybe we'll have to go with some tube coral for the background then. This is a one per thirty-two. So let's go with one for the red ones, because the red ones I think are the nicest. And then we will buy one for three. So let's buy some blue. Let's buy some yellow. And then let's also go for the pink as well. There we go. That works for me. Okay, we'll have to be very, very careful with that stuff, because it is... Yep. Something that's gonna whoa break or something. I don't know. Oh, this is dangerous up here. I think <laughs> come might want to put some um ugh, it makes a really squishy noise. This is horrible. Um it, you might want to put some carpet up here. In fact, saying that, the shopping district is like probably the most dangerous district ever. Look at this. You wouldn't know that at night time there are shops here because they are not lit up at all. Also, oh my goodness! Haha! <laughs> Quartz! Warts! And pants. What was this called again? I don't know. Was it uh, shorts? Not pants. <laughs> Quartz, shorts, and pants. <laughs> GG Fox, well done. Couldn't think of anything rhyming there. What a what a genius, right? We'll put a, little, a couple of torches down just just so that people also can see that this is the way to go. We'll, we'll, we'll leave people this way with torches <laughs> if they come over at the night time. Uh, not that my shop's open yet. It's not open yet, so. Who knows? But anyway, uh, we need to head down and finish it off. So, oh, wait, quickly, let's try coral in this little bit here as well. So let's grab the... the fa Hello? I'm still laying down. There we go. Uh, let's go with the coral fan there. Nice. A cheap coral here. And let's go with the bubble coral there. Yes, perfect. It just adds a little bit of something. People look down here and they're like, oh, something's going on down here. Let's have a little swim. And... Break that one. Yeah, adorable. This will look great when, when it's mossy though. Just imagine this all being mossy and horrible and a little bit, a little bit sort of moist. Yeah, that'll look good. Anyway, we need to bring some colour in, guys. We need to not only bring colour in with the coral, which we'll do in just a second. Let's put that away before we actually place it anywhere and lose those diamonds. Uh, I've been trying to fiddle, fiddle around with this little bit here. I like the plain background because I think once we get water in there, it's going to look a little bit... Like, I don't know, it's just not gonna, not gonna be super visible anyway, so let's do that. That should have made everything source blocks. I think I'm gonna need to put them up there as well. Did that work? Sort of, I think. 
And uh, what we'll do is like just chuck a little bit of, not kelp, but we'll put some seagrass in there for now. We'll just put, seagrass is easy, we can put seagrass everywhere. Um, and then we can add coral with, yeah, I think just the tropical fish for the coral. But yeah, dudes, okay, let's quickly, right, if that's our final design for that, let's chuck in some of the fish. Let's maybe put the salmon in there. Salmon, okay, three salmon. Let's see what they look like in their new little home. Oh, I don't know, you know what, let me quickly just change these to stairs and then remove it, because otherwise the water's just gonna go everywhere. Okay, well this seems to work, so let's go. One, one salmon, two salmon, three salmon. That, that'll be nice, won't it? Oh yeah, look, they've got plenty of room. Freeze, freeze more than enough. I hope we've got like the same amount of, um, the same amount of cod for the other side. And the reason I put multiple in there rather than just one is because I think they, well, all fish, I'm pretty sure, except for puffer fish, spawn as a group, uh, as a as a school of fish. Um, so we'll put them in there as a group because otherwise they're going to get lonely. So yeah, look at him. He wants to be bored. He wants to go to someone's aquarium, don't you? Yeah, exactly. I wish there was a way to change the water and have these in the cold water and or, well, I guess it's lukewarm, and then make that water, as soon as you put tropical fish in it, maybe it'll make a, a percentage of it into warm water. I don't know. Maybe it'll depend on the fish what temperature the water goes. I don't know. That could be kind of cool. But uh, anyway, right, let's do the other side. Let's add some colour. I want to add some stripes with oak, and I want to add some jungle leaves, and yeah, so let's actually quickly try this out, actually. Let's go with this. This spider's really bugging me, dude. He's so noisy. Uh, let's go like this, like this. Get rid of this. Make that stone because you won't be able to see it anyway. Add some ooh lighting in the bottom. I've only got glowstone still, so again, apologies. It will be. Uh, I'll basically just <laughs> one day I'm just going to swap all of my lighting to um, to sea lanterns, but that won't be till I have sea lanterns, obviously. So let's build that up to the roof. Same there, maybe put some more lighting in the roof, although the roof's gonna end there actually, when we put the ceiling in. So let's see what this looks like. Uh, yeah, look at that, blue, green, yellow. Ah, oh, it looks beautiful. Okay, I can really envision how this is gonna look now. I'm so excited. Right, okay, let me build some more stuff and uh, I'm excited for this pet shop. It's gonna look so cool. This is really coming together. Look at this. Yes. I've already got one set of fish in here and I'm already like done. I'm done. It looks great. I love it. Yeah, look. So you're gonna be able to just quickly fish them out there nice and easily. I might put, uh, I don't actually know if I can put ladders on the back of those blocks, can I? Just in case someone falls in. I don't want, really want them to destroy the whole place if they fall in and then have to try and get out. Oh yeah, you can put ladders, so I'll put like a ladder there. You won't be able to see it. Yeah, just, just so people don't get stuck, seeing as I've put the water quite low. Also, I've made sure that that's the same in here as well, where if you do accidentally fall in for some reason, I don't know why you'd be up here, there's no way up here, but I've put the, uh, the stairs that way around, just so that, you know, you can get out. That'll be handy when we're actually moving Mr. Guardian in there, but that won't be for a while, um, whenever I'm ready, which is not yet. Uh, haven't even killed the Ender Dragon yet, no, let alone got myself a little Guardian friend. Uh, oh yeah, and, the, and it's floating in there. Um, so, what's next? I need to go get some more sand, because I want this to be sand background, and all of this I think to be sand background too, just because it keeps it nice and bright without necessarily needing lighting inside. Uh, I think with this big one I will have to have lighting inside though, just because it'll be too dark to see. Uh, I wish I'd have done the floor out here with the slabs a little bit so that we could have the aquariums glowing, but pet shops generally are just full on, you know, fluorescent lights. So Minecraft as it is, is already pretty satisfying, like mining is quite fun, chopping down trees is quite fun. One of the most satisfying new things is this. The noise it makes. Just, uh, just being able to just, uh, I don't even know, it's just, <laughs> it's just so much fun. I love it, I don't know why, it just, I think the noise is great. It just feels really, really good to like just, you know, build a whole wall or ceiling in my case, and then literally just, just right click it, just hold right, down right click and turn it into stripped logs. It's great, and it doesn't feel like it takes up a lot of durability of the axe either. 
I guess it is probably taking just as much as digging up a block wood, so maybe it's not, that's why it's not so obvious on my axe, because I've got them breaking. But, I'm, I'm not hating that ceiling. I think the ceiling's not the main thing. You generally look at this, like this is eye, eye level, isn't it? The second block up, basically. So you're not really going to be looking directly at the ceiling. I think it just works. It keeps, keeps everything bright. Uh, and once we've got the water installed, we will be good. Anyway, yeah, like I say, back to the tanks and it should be finished in just a bit. I think I'm going to add some lighting. I think I'm going to add them there. On that kind of location, we'll have to use glowstone. And what I really, really liked was, guys, look at this colour next to all of this as well. Trapdoors. It just brings in a little bit of warmth with the, with the, with the pinkish shade because everything's quite cool at the moment. And we want some sort of warmer colour it come in, um, especially to match sort of the tropical fish. So uh, I think some sort of lighting with like this, with like these on it or something will work maybe. It'll look better without glowstone probably, but for now glowstone's all we have. Yeah, like that, that's very, very cool. And we'll like, attach it to the ceiling or something. So we'll fiddle around with that and um, yeah, I'm not hating that as an idea. I like that actually. Looks really smart. There are perks to having my shop so close to uh, <laughs> to cub fans. Look at this, I've got night vision in here, which would be really, really handy because when people do jump in here to grab some fish, uh, they will be able to actually see, which would be really, really awesome. So I'm gonna grab some extra water from here as well. Yeah, look, it's all source blocks now. I've just done the whole kelp thing uh, over and over again, a whole bunch. Uh, let's quickly replace that. Cool, there we go. So outside here, it doesn't, like obviously the effect doesn't work, the night vision thing. Um, which is a shame, but I think when we add lighting in there, it'll look okay. Uh, just, I'll put probably some glowstone. Now, you might be thinking, where do you actually en enter this? And because there are ladders here, I've decided on just chucking like a little sort of way in here. I think I might put little trap doors on them. Might make it a little bit more visible from downstairs. This is all all slabs as well, so it's nice and easy. Right, so let's let's add lighting first, then maybe detail afterwards. So, firstly, we'll go with just the lighting in the corners. Perhaps see how that looks. You can't really tell in here because obviously the, the the beacon effect is is making everything seem super deep bright. But once all the lighting's in, we can add like some seagrass. So we'll add some kelp like quite far back. So maybe a little bit of kelp there, one there perhaps. Fit it all in with, fill it all in with some seagrass. And then, I guess, what we can do, oh, can I get out? There we go, whoa, <laughs> like a dolphin. Uh, and then, oh yeah, you can see in there much better now, can't you? Yes, I like that. I think I might save one puff of fish for in here, just so we have one as our friend. <laughs> For now, let's have a little see how he's gonna get on by himself. Oh, he's so cute! He's so cute. Right, pufferfish have got to be my favourite. I mean, I also hate them, but oh wait, is it gonna need to put pufferfish in here before I've got the tropical fish? Probably not. I don't think they kill the puffer the other fish, but I think they will hurt me if I jump in there right away. So actually, yeah, probably tropical fish first then maybe them. Right, okay, tropical fish it is. Let's see if these are the same ones that I remember picking up. One yellow, one grey. There was, I think, two of those guys. Oh, it remembers what fish you pick up. This is incredible. A pink one, yeah, and the, 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 the other version, and the blue version, and the pink version. Guys, this is great. This is so, so good. Why are they all going that way? Hello? What's going on over here? Mother's meeting? Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, puffer fish. <laughs> I shouldn't have uh, offended you guys. What's going on here? Is there a flow of water? What, what is going on there? Oh no, stop it, no! Stop it, no! No! I don't know if that's the poison- Okay, I don't know, what is going on here? Ow, ow, what? Ow! What's that lag? What happened there? Ow! Can you not even stand next to the gloss? Yeah, I don't know what's happened here. This is... Oh, maybe they need coral. Do they need coral? I'm so very confused. Pufferfish were, were a bad option <laughs> in this one, I think. Ow, 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 
Oh, I've added, I've added all your coral. Wait, 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 they're moving. The... Right, I think I might have to figure out what's going on here, but I might need to remove the puffer fish. <laughs> Look, it's even blown up because I'm standing here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Maybe this is warm water and the rest isn't. Is it? Is it biome specific? Like, if I like look at this, does it? No. <laughs> oh, it might be the one in the middle that's poisoning me. Oh, what's going on? I'm not even in the water, dude. Wait, is it you? Yeah, then it's yeah, it's him. It's him. <laughs> Spiky. That's not cool. Oh man. Okay. Well. Last thing I need to do is lighting, but I guess I'll do that off camera, guys. So leave a like if you did enjoy this episode. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know how on earth I fix this issue. This is a problem, isn't it? I'm gonna get spiked and and I'm gonna get complaints from uh, from the the guests and and shoppers that have come in. It's gonna be very sad. Anyway, right, I'll add some finishing touches later on. But guys, that is it for now. I'm done. <laughs> Gotta go take a break from being poisoned, and I'll see you guys all in the next episode. See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.